Hello everyone and welcome to the Sky Platform here in Second Life. This is where you're going to be doing your final project. As you can tell by the different projects that have already been resed in by other students and former versions of this course. Now today you're going to focus on an important tool for your teaching lesson and that is the note card giver. In Second Life any object can be turned into a note card giver meaning that when somebody clicks on it that object is going to offer a note card that has text in it, that has URLs to websites, landmarks to other places in Second Life, anything that you want to put in it. Now, in addition to the note card giver, we're also going to be focusing on how to build something in Second Life to put your note card and note card giver script into. So I want you to click on build. Up comes the build platform, as you can see. Go up and select the cylinder, click on it, bring it down, and let it res in here on the ground. Now the first thing we're going to do with our cylinder here is to make it taller because this is going to be the stand for our note card giver. So let's go over to the edit pane. Let's change the Z coordinate, that's vertical, to one and make it a little bit taller. As you can see, part of it is below the ground, part of it, part of it is above the ground. Okay, so now we've, we've got it up to one meter high. The next thing we want to do is maybe taper the top so it looks more like a stand. So go over to your taper command here on the uh, edit pane and the top arrow on the left tapers one side and then click on the top arrow on the right and that tapers the other side. Let's make them to all about 55 and that gives us a nice taper up there. Now the next thing we're going to do is to hollow out the cylinder so it's got a nice kind of cup shape to hold our note card giver or our ball. So we go up to hollow and we click on hollow and let's hollow it out to about 90 or 95 so that it, it looks like a good uh, funnel shape uh, kind, of, kind of thing. Okay, that's, uh, that's looking uh, pretty good there. Now the next thing we're going to do is to add a texture. You click on the texture tab and then that brings up the texture preview window. You click on that texture preview window and then that brings up your texture search box. Let me, let me move it over here. And now, whenever you registered or got an account in Second Life, you were given a note, um, a, a folder of textures, and those uh, textures in that folder uh, are in your library. So go to library, click on the expand button, and then open up that uh, textures folder. Now, since this is a stand, we want it to be good and concrete. Mm, concrete, maybe that's rock. So let's open up the, uh, the, the rock uh, file here. And let's go down and select uh, the rock we want. Now you can preview any texture by clicking on the little RGB symbol there. And then you can see all the different kinds of rock that are available to you. Let's go ahead and click on geographic rock. And then clicking on that and then clicking select uh, brings, that, um, brings that texture onto the, uh, on, onto the object. You can also click on bright, full bright, and adding more light to it will change the color a little bit. Okay, so now we've got our good solid stand. Next thing we want to do is to put a ball, our note card giver, on top of that stand. Once again, go down there and click on build. That opens up the build menu, and this time click on sphere or ball and bring it down and res it right above that stand. So now we have that prim. Now let's go ahead and make our ball big enough. Um, let's go ahead and start with one meter. Now since it's a ball, you want all three axes to be the same, one meter, X, Y, and Z. And, and that, uh, that's going to increase the size of, size of that ball. Now the next thing we need to do is to align the ball perfectly on top of the stand. Now to align two objects in Second Life, all you do is repeat the X, Y, Z coordinates of one to the other. So let's take the X coordinate of the stand, 
copy it, open up the sphere, and then copy those coordinates into the X. And as you can see, that moved the ball way over here. It's not a problem. That means they're just aligning that way. Next, we uh, click on the Y on the stand, copy those Y coordinates, open up our, our ball, and then paste in the Y coordinates in our ball. And that puts it, as you can see, perf perfectly X and Y lined up. Now we just take our Z, our arrow, and move that ball up on top of our stand, and yikes, that's a pretty big ball. Uh, let's go ahead and reduce the size of that ball, maybe. Uh, let's uh, try 0.75, and uh, maybe our ball will not look uh, like a planet. Uh, so, okay, that's, uh, that's looking a lot, a lot better now. Now all we do is align the ball uh, better on top of the stand. Let's go ahead and put a texture on our ball. Again, you, uh, you click on the Texture menu, uh, tab, opens up the Texture Preview, and um, I've got, uh, I've, you will collect your own textures in Second Life. I've got a list here. I'm going to put some glass on it. Uh, let's see, let's try this brown here. Let's see what that looks like. It looks pretty good. Uh, brown and blue, it's a nice contrast. Again, you can click on Full Bright if you want to change the color so that it makes things more or less visible and changes the color a little bit. Okay, there it is. There's our note card giver sitting on top of our stand. Now all we have to do is add our script to it, a note card giver script, and a note card. To do that, as always, to edit anything, you right click on it. That opens up the pie menu. You select edit in the pie menu. That opens up our, our edit panel. And this time we're gonna click on contents. Now notice what happens whenever we click on contents. It's empty. There are no contents in this particular object at this time. We're going to add contents to it. So let's click on our, our, our inventory button and let's uh, move this inventory over here. And uh, this time, let me kind of get in between them here. This time, <coughs> we're going to look for a note card giver script. I've already got one in my inventory. You can get one by simply clicking on search down at the bottom and typing in note card giver script and they're free, they're all over the place in Second Life. Once you have your script in your inventory, you simply take it and move it over and drop it into the contents pane of that note card giver. We got our script in there. Now all we have to do is put our note card in there. So this time we change the search to note card and we see all our note cards. You find the note card you're looking for. Let's, uh, let's take Angel Sim here. So we take Angel Sim and we move it over here and we put Angel Sim note card in the contents pane. So now it's loaded up with the script and the note card. Let's test it. You simply click on it, left click on it or touch it. That opens up an option whether or not you want to accept that note card. You click on accept, it opens up the note card. And as you can see, it's got text in it. It's got links in it. It's got landmarks in it. Anything that you want to give to the citizen, the viewer, the visitor, to your, uh, to your sim, your students, in other words. Okay, there it is. That's the note card giver in Second Life. To create your own notes, it's very easy. Simply click on inventory down here, and then on the inventory pane that op opens up, all you do is click on create at the top, and then say create new note, and then that opens up a blank note. You type whatever you want to in that note. You add landmarks to it, URLs to it, whatever, and then you save it back to your inventory, ready to pull over and to put it in to whatever note card giver you want. That's it. It's an important tool, and I hope that you use it well, and I hope that it makes a difference for, for your students in your lesson. Okay, see you in class.